Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing. I wanted to come and do a quick flip through of my redesigned junk journal planner. So we had done a series on the channel where I put together a junk journal planner using a vintage book. Um, I tried to use it. It was too big this way. This one is still pretty wide end to end, but it's a little bit more controllable than the other one. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the differences here. I'll reference what I did initially and then what I did in the new one. So I felt like it was worth my while to go ahead and do a new, another junk journal planner because what good is anything if you're not going to use it? And so I found it cumbersome. I found it difficult to use because my, while in that one, I did sew my signatures together in themselves. I did not sew them into the spine. And so they were like wonky and they moved around and that's just not my, not my thing. And so it was really difficult for me to work with. Now, again, this is still wider than I want it to be. I did make a space over on a shelf over there, which I may move it over there because I'm still bumping into it over on my right side when I walk in and out of the room and I'm doing things kind of at the corner of my desk. So I may be changing that up and putting it over um, by the window um, in a little slot that I actually measured it to fit there. So that's kind of the, the thought process there. It's just a little bit more cumbersome because I have to, it's just, I guess maybe I'm lazy and that means I have to lean over and do all this stuff. And <laughs> so um, I am, let's see, what day is it? Today is Wednesday, the 27th, I believe, of um, September. So I am seven days from my surgery date. Well, tomorrow will be a week. So um, I did come into the studio and did some work yesterday. Um, it wiped me out. Now I didn't do a ton, like I wasn't in here all that long. I filmed for about an hour and then I came back later and I did the editing in pieces. So, uh, but it was still a lot. Um, I'm supposed to go back to work on Friday. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I literally can't do anything without just completely being flattened. So I guess when you're older, it's harder to recover from surgery, even if it's laparoscopic. Uh, when they take your gallbladder out, they do four incisions and um, yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, you guys, you know me, I always have to talk about the personal stuff. So one of the features that I loved in the original journal was this pocket that we made with this vintage doily and this butterfly. So I wanted to keep that. So I did lose a little bit of my landscape because when I pulled it off of the other one, it kind of, um, it kind of um, got a little wonky on the sides, but it is okay. I haven't put anything in the pocket yet. It's a pretty narrow pocket. Let me just show you with my metal ruler. Um, it's pretty tight, but um, I'll be able to stick stuff in there. I might just put like little um, strips of quotes or something like that. I am a quote junkie, so I love that. So let me show you the cover. I am not done with the cover. I was unable to find the same fabric I had used before. So I used this as Paris, uh, Paris themed um, fabric as well. I like that it's muted out. I would have loved to not have put this lace on top, but I actually backed my fabric with uh, fusible webbing or whatever you call that heat and bond, heat and bond, and it still showed the brown of the chipboard. And so I was like, what the heck, what the heck? So I did not like that. So that's why I put this lace on top. Um, I'll probably put a little something on the cover. I haven't decided, um, but this is what it looks like with the signature sewn in. So, um, and I will be covering this as well. I'm bummed about the dark thread, but I didn't have anything else um, as far as wax thread. I run out, so I had to place another order. But anyway, it is, let me grab my ruler here ill-prepared as usual <laughs> these days. So it is um, about two and a half inch spine. And so, uh, let me get this back in view here. So my plan is, in this process is we have, I'm gonna undo these clips because in order to have this lay flat so that I can actually use it, I have to kind of train these pages to stay down. So I just put these large clips on. Why, what is it getting hung up on there? There we go. 
these large clips on there so that when I'm not using the months that are later in the junk journal uh, planner, I can um, paper clip those. So that was the plan. So what I did is I divided it up into four different four quarters, basically. So um, because I just finished it, um, I've got September, October, November in the first signature, December, January, February in the second signature, um, March, April, May, and then June, July, August, and August. So there's three months in each signature. So let me go through this really well. Let me show you the back. So these are the calendar pages from the kit that I some from some of the kits that I ordered from Ruby and Pearl, which was the inspiration for this. Um, junk journal planner so it's nice I mean the squares are very small because I had to shrink it to fit in the back of the book so what are they they are one just a little over one and a quarter inches squared so it's little but I can write small so um, so this basically just sits in the back of the journal. Um, I was going to put it in the front, but I don't want to cover up that pocket. I might switch it because it's going to be more um, more functional if I just set it there, which I just love the beauty of this, but I'll probably put something pretty on here so maybe I can transfer some beauty here so that I can see it when I'm looking at the planner. So I'm going to set that aside. And so I've got all of the months. So right here, they're not all filled out or anything, but... Um, and this I had to cut, or I had to shrink these calendar pages to fit this size down to, I think it was 70, 80, 87% the normal size. So, um, and I made um, a note of the exact dimensions of this journal because I will do a new journal. I just decided I'm going to do a new junk journal every year. Why not? Because I can keep all this beauty in here and I can go back and look through it at another time. So, um, because I'm also going to house ideas in here, not um, not samples, but just ideas, um, ideas, written ideas. <laughs> so um, so each of my signatures has some pretty pages. I think I've got three um, three digitals. So these are from the faded pink kit from chapter one papers and so each of the signatures has three of these in it and then some other pages which I'll show you here in a second so as you can see I've got plenty of room to write notes to write quotes if I wanted to I've got um, some of these these are also from Ruby and Pearl not sure how I'm going to utilize those uh, maybe for ideas maybe for uh, plans for videos on particular days I'm not exactly sure if nothing else it's a great place to just make some notes. I put a paper bag. These are the flat ones. They don't have the gusseted bottom. They don't stand up, um, but I love them. I coffee dyed these, and so um, each signature has one of these just to kind of put some stuff in there that maybe I want to hold on to. Maybe pretty things. Um, I thought I could shrink some of these down and put some in there as well, cut them in half. We'll see. And then we've got... Um, each of the signatures has the month here in French. So in the beginning of each each um, quarterly signature, I put the um, se the uh, September or the month on the left side so that otherwise it would be in the back of the signature, if that makes sense. So when we get to uh, November, the November will be the other way, which I'll show you. This is another, um, this is another page from Chapter 1 Papers called aqua and blue I believe but I loved the aqua that it's represented here as well as in the fabric on the front so I thought we would introduce that so that is also from chapter one um, this is only printed on 20 pound paper and then we've got a piece of coffee dyed linen paper and then this is the other half of the no that's the other half of let's see let's see what it is uh, more of those days of the week pages another digital and then, um, wow, that was weird. So that must be the other half, September. It's not very many pages in the signature, so let's see where we're at. I think I messed this one up. I think I messed this one up. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, no, November. Oh, you know what? I think I did. So look, 
Um, I remember doing this, um, I, and I thought I was going to go back and fix it, but I didn't. So you can see October is after November, not a big deal. This is not for tabs. This is not a tab or anything. It's just I like the look of it. So it's just another place to make notes. So no big deal there. I didn't bother to ink around everything. It's my own personal uh, planner. So, so each of the signatures is similar in that regard. So, oh, it looks like I've got two no that's the other half of the paper bag so on this i may open that up so i've got another pocket to put things in we'll see and then we are at the end of the first signature so um, we've got plenty of this i love this idea so i just have to kind of brainstorm about how i want to use that so each signature is similar so it's got similar papers um, just a little bit different um, design for the aqua um, blue colors that i wanted to introduce and then, oh, that's terrible, a little bit white, white border. And then there we've got February. I almost wish I'd put all those in the middle. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Jury's out. <laughs> so that is basically it. I'm not gonna flip through everything. Um, so each one is similar and um, has di one different piece of paper in terms of the aqua tones. So there's, we've got April, and then more of the days of the week. And then, um, yeah. So I love it, I love it. There's May, and so lots of room to write. So I really wanna use this as a place to just be able to take a pencil and just write ideas, just, you know, just whatever pops in my mind. Right now I keep, uh, have note notepad on my phone, and that's where I keep all my ideas. So, um, as well as I have a book, but yeah, I never keep that updated. So that is pretty much it, you guys. I am toying around with, oh, and I also put this lace back in. So obviously I had to use a different piece, but I loved that in the other in the other uh, planner. So I went ahead and did that. I'll probably put a gusseted pocket in the back. Uh, we'll see about that. I don't think it's big enough to hold those, so I'm, I'm not sure what I'll do there. But I'm not done with, again, I'm not done with the cover, and I do want to cover this up. I think what I'm going to probably do, um, because I tried to take a piece of that vintage coffee dyed lace and put it over here, but you can still see the strings. So I might just take a piece of cardstock, cover it with a piece of the fabric, and just cover that up entirely. Um, but we'll we'll see when we get there. I might add a little bit of pink lace or something to accentuate that. So that is our junk journal planner. And so I really believe that it's going to be much more functional than my other one. And uh, let me give you the measurements here. I'm not sure why I went so wide with it, because look at how much room we've got at the end of the signatures. But that's okay too. Um, you know, we live and learn, and I'm not sure what I was thinking in terms of the width but it is uh, seven and a half inches wide and nine and a half inches tall so but it's beautiful and i love it so i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye